Hey guys, I'm back. Um, sorry, I took like a week off from doing the videos, uh, but I will explain why in just a minute. But this is technically day two for me of the Rituals for Transformation 108th day journey to your sacred life. And um, my intention was to do this 108 days in a row, but some things happened that made me realize that Although I would love this to be in, you know, every day, 108 days in a row, if things happen in your life or in my life, for instance, um, that cause you to have to take a break, that's okay and you can pick it back up when it's the right time. Um, <clears throat> for me, what happened was about a week ago, a week and a couple of days now, my uh, dog passed away and I was just not able to, at the time, focus on this. But I realized that this is exactly what I need for my healing and actually today's um, entry or whatever you want to call it, lesson entry, was actually a very good one for me. I'm um, going through what I'm going through right now with the grief and the loss of my my sweet little dog who was 17, almost 18 years old. And it actually is helping me cope with some of that. So this book is coming in handy in ways I didn't expect. So anyway, let's get into it. So today's lesson, I'm just gonna call it a lesson because I'm not sure what else to call it, was um, I am not my body. <clears throat> and again, if you guys want to read all of the information in the book, you can purchase the actual book and read through it. I'm just going through what came out of it for me. I'm going to put a link in the description of this workbook if you want to do it too, if you want to read all the information. Um, but just for my purposes, I just wanted to share what I got out of it. Um, so for me today, when I did the morning meditation, so you read the lesson and then you kind of do a meditation and see what comes up. And for me, <clears throat> what came up was um, not to be so attached to our physical bodies because we're more than just the physical body that we're in. Um, and actually, while I was meditating, I was realizing that we can connect to, you know, infinite intelligence, God, whatever you want to call it. We can connect um, on that realm when we meditate. So if we go into meditation more, which has actually been helping me get through my grief, we can connect to, I would like to think, those who have went on before us or you know, because we're all energy, we all go back to energy after we pass, so that's a way to reconnect with, hopefully, as I like to see it, the ones who went on before, and the ones who maybe we haven't met yet, who will be here in the future. And we can get, you know, information that way, feel comfort, and just, um, you know, kind of realize that, again, we're not our bodies. <clears throat> um, and it also led me to realize that when the time is right, we need to be able to let go of our bodies so for me like you know i'm really attached to this body i like it i like being on earth i like being in my body but when the time comes to go to the next realm and go back to energy i want to be able to remember that i'm not this body and that life doesn't end i mean it ends as far as on earth but we still exist after our body is gone so to be able to realize that and understand that and to really embrace that theory, that is something that I'm coming to terms with. And I think also losing my dog has helped me with that too, which is I know a weird thing to say, but it's making me realize that, you know, our days on earth are numbered, but that doesn't mean once we pass that we just cease to exist. Um, and then that brings me to another idea, <laughs> another thought that I had while I was meditating. Well, I've had this thought before, but this one came up again is while we're here in this, this body, we should enjoy our time here. We should do all the things that we can't do when we're energy or when we, you know, leave the body. So eating and drinking and, you know, um, just enjoying things that we can like physically touch with our hands and things like that. Of course, we want to do it with high vibe things that are healthy and good for our bodies. As I talked about in my first video, we want to take care of ourselves and just really, um, you know, connect with our body in a way that's healthy, but also enjoy the things that we can't enjoy when we're not in this physical body. So that was something for me that came up too. And then again, um, <clears throat> as I said with before with letting go, being willing to let go of your body when it's time, this is the hardest one for me because I feel like I'm more willing to let go of my own body when it's time, but to let someone else 
go is harder for me. Like I realized this this week with the passing of my dog, like it was time. I know it was time for her to go. She was in her body and her body was weak and it just wasn't a good place for her. She's much better now out of this body that was holding her back, but it was hard for me to let go of her body. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, sometimes it may seem easier to let go of your own body, but to let go of a loved one who's physically with you and let them go to that next realm and next um, existence for them, it's really a difficult process and we have to be willing to do that. And we have to be, we have to let them know we're willing for them to cross over because it can hold them back too. So that's something I've been realizing too. I know my dog held on probably way longer than she wanted to because she was probably worried about if I would be able to handle it. And I thought that I could and, and realized after she was gone that she was right. I wasn't ready, but you know, we have to handle these things and we have to accept them and realize that once the body dies, that doesn't mean that person that you loved or animal that you loved is doesn't exist anymore. They just change form. Um, and actually during the meditation, I had a powerful image that came to me because I tried to focus on my dog Maggie who died a little bit just to see if I could pull up her non-physical and just to see if I could connect with it just because I haven't tried that yet and I thought I would try it while I was in this meditation thinking about all these things and a really powerful image came to me <clears throat> I thought I would see Maggie who's she's my little she was a little shih tzu about seven pounds little cute little foo-foo dog you know um, but for some reason when I saw the image of her in my mind when I was meditating I saw a powerful wolf which I didn't expect that. I was thinking I was gonna see a cute little foo-foo dog that was, you know, with a ponytail, the cute little dog that she was on earth. But when I saw her image in my mind, it was totally different. It was a strong and powerful wolf looking back at me. And I was like, that's not Maggie, is it? And then it made me realize that even us, maybe we don't even realize what our consciousness really looks like. Maybe I'm here in this earth looking like this, but maybe I'm maybe my consciousness looks totally different. Maybe I'm just embodying this physical form, but what I don't know how to put this into words, but maybe the consciousness that I have is a totally different creature. I don't know how to explain it, but that that image of Maggie as a little shih tzu in on earth and me seeing a wolf in my mind when I pictured her, that just made me realize that maybe we need to connect with ourselves on a deeper level to see who we really are. Maybe we think we know who we are because of our physical body, but if we connect with our consciousness and really try to see who we are, maybe we're something totally different. Maybe we're way more powerful than we even imagine. Maybe we chose this body to come back into to humble ourselves. I don't know. But anyway, so that made me think I'm going to do some maybe some more meditating tonight to see if I can connect with my personal consciousness to see who I am because maybe I don't even know maybe that would change a lot of things about how I act and you know my my existence in the world and how I portray myself anyway that was it sorry to ramble I just wanted to tell you guys that I just finished day two even though I'm definitely not doing it in order <laughs> as far as day by day I'm just doing it when <clears throat> when I can and hopefully now I'll be able to get back on track and do them daily because I think it does compound over time and it's powerful to do them day by day but I think it's also okay if you need a day or two off don't be so rigid and strict with it that you feel like oh I skipped a day then I'm just gonna have to like give it up you know no it's okay pick it back up and keep going because it's gonna meet you where you are just like it did with me today with this um, message about not being your body so it was the right timing for the right lesson and I'm grateful for this book. I feel like it's going to be a huge part of my healing that I didn't even know I needed. So that's it guys. Anyway, I hope my video made sense today and let me know what your thoughts are. And if you're doing this book, let me know how it's impacting you and what you're learning from it. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.